Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, a quick fountain pen review. And that pen is this pen. This is a pen from Muji. Muji have been known for this pen for quite a while. And there was also a pocket pen for a while that was similar to this guy. This is the aluminium fountain pen. Very, very, uh, you know, inventively named aluminium fountain pen, seeing as it's made of aluminium. So I wonder what this pen would be called. It is the polycarbonate fountain pen. That is how this pen is promoted by the company, the polycarbonate fountain pen. I love that. It is it is just so Muji. Uh, this was new in 2022, uh, and I'm really glad to be playing with it. I didn't even know it was out there, and I was in the store, and I saw it and went, oh my gosh, a uh, different Muji fountain pen. Now, you take off the cap, and you can very clearly see it is made by Pilot. This is a 0.3, so like the extra fine. Uh, not Pilot, sorry, Platinum. Uh, and it is basically the same grip and nib and everything as the Preppy. So that's basically what you're getting. Now, the designs of the pens are, you know, there are some similarities there in the barrel and, you know, in the size and all that kind of stuff. The cap and clip is slightly different, which is good. Um, but you're basically getting a Platinum Preppy here. And it takes the Platinum uh, cartridge and converter. It comes with a platinum cartridge, whereas the original Muji aluminium fountain pen was standard international. Now, this is an issue I have, uh, and this will be in my cons column, uh, but if you've got two pens from the same brand, in this case it's Muji, and they are made by different people, obviously. One's made by Platinum, and I'm not sure who this guy's made by, but the nib is a Schmidt nib. Uh, it'd be great if they, if they would sell, you know, the same cartridges to fit both. But that's, uh, that's just what we get. So let's talk about the parts and features. All injected molded plastic. You get a little simple uh, cap. This picks up dust like nothing else. Like, I mean, because it's white, it just shows up so clearly. Plastic clip that's just sort of built on there. Very fragile. Come back to that. Uh, little band there where they join up and then the barrel tapers down and you get a little injection molding stuff on the end there. Nice secure snap on these pens like the, the uh, preppy and you can see actually it's got that same liner in there which i'm assuming is that uh, slip and seal liner that platinum is so well known for in fact when i i actually left this pen in my drawer for about i think it was six weeks and uh tried it out and i've got a video to show here and it wrote first time which is what you would expect from platinum like the preppy i would assume this could be eyedropper there's nothing to say that it couldn't be and it all looks like one piece of plastic Silicon grease on the threads, maybe an O-ring, that kind of stuff. Very simple way of converting this pen into an eyedropper and uh, would make it a nice option. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice, simple, very clean fountain pen, and that's what Muji is known for. Clean, simple, minimalist kind of designs of things, and this ties in very nicely with that design aesthetic. Quick size comparison now with the Platinum Preppy and the Lamy Safari. It's a pretty decent size if it's nicely in this same sort of family. Uncapped. More of the same, just a little bit smaller than the Lamy Safari there. Posted, it is visibly shorter than the Lamy Safari, but it is a very comfortable pen when this is posted. It fits beautifully in the hand, and uh, like the Preppy, it's lightweight, and uh, it just is a nice, simple, easy pen to write with. Not a, it's not fancy, but it is just nice. And what are the dimensions? Well, they are 138 millimeters when it is capped. 123 when it is uncapped, so decent enough size in the hand. Kind of like the Preppy, just a little bit sort of bigger than like the average sort of ballpoint pen kind of size. And then posted, it is 153. It's a nice length. Middle of the section is around 11 millimeters, so it feels very comfortable in the hand. It is super lightweight at 13 grams, nine in the body and four in the cap. So the balance is good either way. Most of the weight sort of is focused down around where you grip the pen, uh, so it's very comfortable in the hand indeed. We'll do a quick writing sample with it now. We have the Muji Polycarbonate Fountain Pen. This is a steel uh, zero, well, zero 03, so I'm, I'm guessing it's about an extra fine nib proprietary nib to platinum and as i said the cartridge system in this is also proprietary but if you get the cartridges from uh platinum or a couple of the other brands that make similar ones you're pretty safe
it writes very smoothly. It writes consistently. It writes not super wet, but like, you know, wet enough. It's all, Platinum Black is also not a super wet ink uh, the ink that comes in these cartridges. It's reliable. It keeps up. Reverse writing is possible with these pens, but kind of dry and will dry out. It's a little bit scratchy. And they are definitely, definitely, definitely not soft or flex nibs. But the Muji polycarbonate fountain pen using this platinum nib feed and ink setup or cartridge setup is an easy, simple, clean pen and a, a nice little addition to your lineup. So what are the pros and cons now of the Muji polycarbonate fountain pen? Well, the cons. Firstly, as I said earlier, the fact that the cartridges are not compatible between the two Muji fountain pens. Both of these were on sale at the same time in the store. Whether they still are, I don't know. But they were both on sale next to each other in the same store. Standard International, Platinum. So, you know, just be aware of that. The other issue I had, this is actually the second one. I bought two when I saw it because I thought, oh, I might want a second one. The clip broke off the first one. It just snapped right through there as I was putting it in a pen case. So not amazing in that respect. So just be careful with it. Uh, don't try and put it over like chunky. This was like in the Galen leather one with the, like the slightly leathery kind of the leather over the elastic. And so it was trying to get over a bit more than just like a plastic or a little like elastic band. So just be careful and aware of that. But there are lots and lots of pros to this pen. Firstly, the fact that it is has a platinum preppy nib and this slip and seal cap system. Like that little springiness in there, it holds tight, it keeps it wet. As I said, after six weeks, whatever it was, it wrote first time. The fact that it takes platinum cartridges, they're good cartridges. The converters are not the worst. Uh, they are definitely better than like the Sailor converters, for instance. Um, so if you wanted to put a converter in here, a platinum converter, you could, or you could get one of those little, um, you can get the little converter that converts from a platinum converter to a standard international converter. You could get something like that. Very handy. Um, I think another great thing about this pen is the price. At around $10, you're not gonna break your bank. It's about the same price as what you get a Platinum Preppy for here in Australia, maybe a couple of dollars more, but not way out of the ballpark. Um, yeah, as I said, it's reliable, it doesn't dry out. And also it's a clean, simple design. It's simple, white, it looks nice. It's There's no clutter, there's no big branding. Like the Platinum Preppy has this like horrible branding which makes it feel disposable and cheap. Like this looks like a, you know, an Office Works or whatever your, you know, Staples or Office Max or whatever, you know, ballpoint pen. At least the Muji pen has some nice clean lines and it's not overbranded to fit in with their uh, their aesthetic. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. I certainly uh, enjoyed the fact that Platinum and Muji have somehow collaborated, both Japanese brands have collaborated on a pen for Muji to sell, which I think is great. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please, you know, hit the notifications button to keep up to date with all the videos I produce. And please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you would like to support my channel, please get in touch. I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens. Enjoy writing. And I'll talk to you soon.